how did Christopher Columbus make such a blunder reaching America, thinking it to be India, when the direction is totally opposite? How could he march towards the West, thinking it's the East? Wasn't he reading the magnetic compass, the position of sun in the night? Wasn't all of this informative enough? So, Christopher Columbus, he did have the use of the magnetic compass, but it was a new instrument at the time. Uh, so it was there, it was available to him. Now, what was the deal with Christopher Columbus? He knew India existed. See, at this time, in the 1500s, what's recently happened is that the Turks had recently conquered Constantinople and they had finally ended the Byzantine Empire, the Western, the Eastern Roman Empire. And because of that, Europe had lost its, its, its land access to India. Europe used to trade with India for centuries, for since before the Roman times, and they deeply craved Indian goods, such as uh, textiles, such as spices, and, and whatever else. So, uh, the European kingdoms and empires, they desperately sought to find a different way to access India, a different route through some other part of the world. Uh, they could no longer go by land, so maybe they wanted to find some way of reaching India by the sea. Now, around this time, around the 1500s, they, they, people had realized that the world is round. So Columbus said, you know, we keep trying going east, but if the world is round, what if I just go westwards? I, I'll go west and I'll, I'll, um, I'll reach India from the other side. Um, so his reasoning was sound and his motivation was pure greed. He had promised his patrons, the Queen and King of Spain, that he would go and discover India and bring back tremendous amounts of gold from India. Well, that was weird because the Europeans typically sent gold to India in exchange for the spices and, and whatever other goods they used to buy, but whatever. So the king and queen of Spain were super greedy and Columbus was personally ambitious and personally super greedy. And he promised them that he would get back so much gold and whatnot. He would discover India, was, he was sure of it. So they financed his expedition the Santa Maria and all these ships, like two, three ships they, they gave him, or he, he acquired from, with the wealth, with the money they gave him, and he goes westwards, right, across the Atlantic. And he is lost over there, and eventually he does discover, his, his crew discovers land, but he claims that he discovered it himself, obviously, right? And uh, they, he obviously had uh, reached the Caribbean islands, and he claimed it was India. And he proceeded to enslave the people of uh, Hispaniola. Would you like to see the map? I'll show you the map. Um, where is Hispaniola? Right? That's the question you would be probably wondering about. So, where is map? Here is map. We go westwards. So, it starts. He starts off from Spain. He stops at the Canary Islands over here uh, to, to uh, replenish his ships. And then... He goes westwards and he reaches somewhere here. And eventually he colonizes this island and genocides the people there. This island was then called Hispaniola. Today it is divided into two countries, Dominica and Haiti. And he also discovered Cuba and so on. He did at least three voyages. He eventually got lost during the third voyage and he discovered Venezuela. So when he discovered the Dominican Republic and Cuba and all, he thought that one of these was Japan and the other was India. And he goes back to Spain and reports that, you know what, I have discovered India. So uh, he was convinced that he had discovered India. I don't blame him for that. At the time, nobody knew where they were, right? And the compass doesn't tell you what country it is. And uh, Columbus clearly was not at all familiar with what India was like, what India's cultures, culture was like, customs were like, geography was like. So he found something and he said that it was India. And that's what happened.